Good morning, everyone. This is video three from the Big Red Barn, Round Top, Texas. This is the spring show in 2023. I'm Franz Helwig, and I'm a cut glass specialist. And if you see anything that you would like to purchase, please email me or text me. Um, I'm also buying collections and rare pieces. And we'll swing back over here and pick up video three where we left off. I have three left of the solid amethyst finger bowls. They are in the vintage or grapes pattern by Pearpoint. These are very beautiful. One of the rarest colors in cut glass. Uh, the finger bowls are $1.95 each. One of the top patterns in American cut glass is Willow by Hawks. It's magical basket weave effect cut into the glass. This is a 10 inch diameter plate. It is 11.5. It's signed, of course. One of Pearpoint's best patterns is Silver Leaf. Here's a helmet shaped bowl. Very fine blank, extremely fine cutting, lots of great detail. It's nine inches in diameter and it is $5.95. Classic among collectors is Alhambra. It's a 10 inch diameter, eight sided tray, a sandwich or cake tray. Um, excellent quality, perfect teeth, which is very difficult to find in this pattern, has the castle rim. It is $12.95. It's a cute footed toothpick holder. It's in a pinwheel design. It's most likely by Clark. Uh, nice cutting. It is $85. It's a cigarette holder by Pearpoint. It has their air bubble traps in the solid base. Lovely floral engraving on the top part. And it is $235. There's a massive tankard. It's in a block design, alternating cane, X's, and crosshatch blocks. Fabulous quality, huge. The uh, handle is solid, cut with punties, and over an inch thick. This, it looks even taller than the 14 inches. It's seven and a half inches in diameter in the base. And that's a bargain at only $14.95. Sunburst design um, is probably by Clark. They used this blank and did similar cutting. Great, brilliant sunburst. Nice um, shape where it curves out in, bulges back out, and then in again. It's 12 inches tall and it's $5.95. A 14 inch tall wafer base, corset base. It has to be by Clark. They were the only ones I knew to use this blank. Um, so the starburst in the center, diamond enclosed hob stars. Again, it's 14 inches tall and it's only $4.95. Here's a really neat whiskey jug. I'm pretty certain it's by Jay Hoare, has many of their elements from like Croesus and Pluto and Hindu. Uh, has the L-shaped handle, triple diamond cutting, pattern cut, plug stopper, really nice whiskey jug, eight and a half inches tall and it's $4.95. Here's the last um, Soda tumbler by Dorflinger or whiskey tumbler. It's in pattern 293. It's shown on in the line drawings catalog and it is $65. Here's a huge square footed pedestal vase. It's a Czech or Hungarian origin, probably from the 1960s, maybe 1970s. Great color, makes a statement. As a decorative item, it is $7.95. It is 16 and a half inches tall. It's a nice little decanter, a cute shape, has a wafer base, top star also on the base, very nice cutting, 
it is only 185. It's another nice sized vase. It's 14 inches tall, has a ruffled rim. I wanted to say that this is Libby. They use this blank. I don't know that I found a signature or looked that much, to be honest with you. Has a Hobstar base. Uh, excellent quality and it is $6.50. Uh, other unusual Libby piece. I forgot. I think it's Libby Flutes and Raised Diamond. But there may be another pattern name. I didn't look it up. But it's signed Libby and I know it to be theirs. It's alternating um, rows of Raised Diamonds and Heavy Flutes. It's 12 inches tall, 7 inches diameter at the base, and it is only 325. It's kind of a cute trophy, Big India by J.D. Bergen bowling pin base. Really fat bodied, large size, six and a half inches in diameter. Nice step cutting in between, which adds a lot to the piece. And that's a really nice buy at only 895 for a big impressive piece. Classic string holder by Hope Cut Glass, circa 1899, Gorham Sterling Top, shown exactly in Bodges' identifying. I don't remember the page number. A little sidebar, Dorflinger Marlboro Punch Set, my favorite Crystal City. And of course, grand prize ice cream tray by Libby. It's a great corset vase in Alhambra by Meriden. It's a lot of examples in the Pearson catalogs. Oh, Pearson's encyclopedia, I should say. This is a big one. It's 16 inches tall, and it is 34.95. It's a huge inkwell. It's um, fluted on the body, cane in the bottom, ma pattern matching cane top, excellent quality, very clear glass, still has the original liner, uh, it's 5 and 3 eighths inch diameter, that's one of the biggest ones you'll ever see, and it's 9.95. And next to it was its mate in the house, another massive, um, Inkwell, it's signed Baccarat, France, with their acid mark. Has the pattern matching top. Also has the liner. This is really another big boy. It, um, it's probably five and a half or five and three eighths inch diameter and probably six inches tall. It's 9.95. Beautiful quality. It's another trophy piece, this huge bulging vase by Pearpoint. Uh, don't know what I did with the tag, but um, they use this blank on Carnation, which is pictured in the Pearpoint catalog. It's got punties, hobstars, step cutting, uh, very heavily cut bulge, then St. Louis diamonds, and then a cut flaring rim. It is 14 and a half inches tall, I believe. It's really fine quality and a rare shape. It is $27.95. One of the best pieces in the booth is this magnificent 1-1 rated 14 inch diameter Arabian pattern tray by Eggington. Gorgeous blank, phenomenal cutting. For all clusters of hob stars and triple miter cuttering, cutting uh, identical to the tray I have in my personal collection. Uh, it's signed and it is 16.5. That's one of, be one of the top pieces in any advanced collection. There's a huge shoulder vase. It's 17 inches tall. Great blank, heavyweight, deep cutting, and then brilliantly polished. Slash diamond cut neck below the um, fluted scallop top. It's excellent quality and lots of great cutting. 
Uh, it's a nice buy at fifteen ninety five. These typically can run two thousand to twenty four hundred. Have a huge array of silver overlay on the top row. We have a cute little sort of a corset base. Um, it is ninety five. All of the overlay is sterling, as far as I know. Here's an acorn whiskey bottle by Hawks. Has the locking top, and it also has the original glass plug. Very cool piece, nicely engraved, uh, very good quality, and it is also signed. It is two seventy-five. Have another sterling overlay whiskey bottle, has a monogrammed medallion, silver top, cork. Uh, it is 75. Have a pair of shot glasses with a little silver overlay. They are 35 each. And in the back, there's another um, sterling overlay whiskey jug. Monogrammed medallion, sterling stopper, it is 175. It's a really beautiful ruffled rim sterling overlay vase. The silver traces, the ruffled rim, lots of great flowers, and then sort of a lattice work toward the bottom. Very ornate. This is probably the nicest one I've seen. It's 12 and a quarter inches tall. And it is 275. That's a, a nice piece. Um, sort of along the same vein, the has the sterling rim on this fan base. Uh, it's, it has a ribbed effect in the glass. Lots more floral overlay work in the body, and it is 255. So a couple of more shot glasses, whiskey tumblers, a nice. Um, Sort of lattice or linear um, sterling overlay work and these I have two of the matching ones and they are 55 a piece it's a really nice overlay decanter and there's a lot of great floral work and ribbing solid handle uh, overlay rip spout and stopper it is nine and a quarter inches tall and 225 and that will conclude video three. Thank you and stay tuned for video four.